All right, today is October the 23rd, 2015, and uh, we're watching Hurricane Patricia. And Patricia now has 200 mile per hour winds, sustained winds right here. And uh, this storm is going to hit uh, the mainland today, sometime later today, near uh, Puerto Vallarta. And uh, there's a couple other cities I can't remember exactly, Manzanillo or Manzanita, something like that. Right here uh, on this uh, peninsula area of Mexico. So uh, now some of the gusts are uh, just being reported on the Weather Channel are saying 245 mile per hour gusts. So that's uh, pretty amazing stuff. Uh, let's go look at the uh, let's go look at the National Hurricane Center map right now and take a look at this uh, the uh, statistics on this uh, storm. We got 200 mile per hour winds. Uh, core pressure of 880 millibar. Now that's apparently a record in the uh, East Pacific. And it's moving north at 10 miles per hour. And uh, what I find interesting is that uh, this storm is not being blown apart. Uh, we do see the core being disrupted. Now last night this was a solid blue, and it still is fairly solid, but the last few frames we see that uh, it looks like some attempt is being made to uh, break this thing down. We can see a blast pattern all along this one edge right here. So uh, now the people on TV on the Weather Channel are forecasting it's going to weaken uh, before it makes landfall. Uh, so it may weaken to 150 mile per hour winds from 200. Uh, that's that's the news. That's the good news apparently. Um, <clears throat> now if we go back and look at the uh, the water temperature, uh, let's see if we can find that. There we are. All right, well, this hurricane is set to hit right about here. All right, now this red area is way down over here. Now, I calculated at 30 degrees uh, C, which comes up to 86 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So this water here is actually a little bit warmer than that. Uh, it's actually way down over here at 31.6. So it could be, a, you know, 87 degrees or even higher, 88 degrees. Uh, but uh, so that's the water temperature situation right down uh, where this storm is going to uh, make landfall right there. Um, let's look at the. Uh, uh, this is the infrared loop. And um, that's a huge storm. And it's surprising that they didn't knock this down when they had a chance uh, because Olaf over here is, is getting some attention and has been. Although it did uh, strengthen to 120 mile per hour winds. Uh, so if we go back and look at the, uh, the Hurricane Center map once again, let's go do that. Go to the Central Pacific. And we see that Olaf has uh, 120 mile per hour winds right here. And it's moving north at uh, 9 miles per hour with a 953 millibar uh, core pressure. All right. So. Uh, Olaf has strengthened a bit, uh, but this storm here, uh, I'm just amazed that they didn't they didn't uh, knock this one down because what's going to happen is it's going to follow this path right through Texas and out to the east. So, um, <clears throat> and none of that moisture will get up into uh, the upper Gulf of California or into any of the uh, southwestern states because there's such strong a flow here. We got high pressure all through here, uh, and uh, that's going to drive all this uh, out to the east. They're continuing to apply pressure here, so that pressure is just moving where it can go, and that's right out to the uh, east. Uh, let's go look at some of these other maps. Okay, here is the uh, visible uh, light mode, and we've got an overlay over this uh, storm, but. Uh, it doesn't look like it's being hit by anything. Any, any, there's no dimples on that core anywhere. Earlier in this, uh, in the day, we see that there is a, a, a shock wave right here, a water vapor ring that was likely the result of a uh, microwave uh, blast at some point, but. This storm is producing 245 mile per hour gusts, and again, there's the uh, there's the chart 
that's a solid red color right down there. That's about as warm as it gets, 31.6 degrees C. All right. Um, here's the Northeast Pacific water vapor loop, and we see uh, both hurricanes. This, this storm is going due north, and it will probably catch this uh, eastbound uh, flow right here. There's a, a jet stream flow. Let's take a look at that here in a minute. Uh, meanwhile, there's a, a storm right here. We got heat on that. And uh, that is expected to ride up and over into Washington and Oregon. Uh, but uh, it's being reported now that uh, chemtrails are uh, being seen in the uh, West Los Angeles area. And that makes sense because look what's happening here. We have this huge moisture field moving right in to uh, Southern California. So once again, right on schedule, the planes are out spraying uh, chemical aerosols to uh, stop the rain. So this is why California has a drought everybody. The planes, the particular timing of these jet spraying activities coincide exactly with oncoming uh, onshore moisture fields. Okay, that's key. That's basic 101, chemtrails 101A. The moisture field moves onshore, the jets spray. All right, that's how it works, and that's why we have a drought. And uh, let's keep going here. We got. Uh, this is the infrared loop, and uh, we see there's quite a bit of rain out here that uh, <clears throat> should be making uh, a dent in our drought in California and bringing snowpack to the uh, to the High Sierra, which runs right along that border with uh, Nevada. All right, <clears throat> so that's not happening, and uh, it's uh, the reason it's not happening is because of these man-made events. It's high pressure. Now let's go back to the uh, we saw yesterday, we were looking at this high pressure being installed right here. Uh, this flow is apparently a little bit too strong for, for, uh, for that high pressure, so everything is moving to the east. So uh, it may be that we, we could get some rain. There's a trough here, and that may move uh, over to uh, California uh, next in the next few days. So we're going to keep an eye on that. We need the rain. There's no reason they should be stopping this rain. Uh, they should be stopping this hurricane over here instead of uh, stopping, you know, a few inches of rain in California. All right, but it does look like some effort is being made here. We can see a uh, an icicle blast pattern along this uh, western edge of that storm, this north uh, western edge right here. If you put the uh, latitude longitude graph on here, we can see that the the, uh, the uh, northeast area of that, uh, or rather the northwest side of that storm is being um, targeted there so and we see that the blue area does diminish so they are hitting it but that's a little too you know too little too late i think they should have been hitting that yesterday when it was uh went from 65 mile per hour winds up to uh 160. all right uh <clears throat> here is the jet stream map and we see that there is some high velocity winds moving uh, right uh, north uh, east into the uh, into the United States. So this moisture field from this uh, storm is going to go right up through here. Okay, and then we have this storm right here, which some of that may come back down around and, and into California through the uh, the mountains up here. This is the uh, high sear all right through here. <clears throat> and so we may get some snow out of that. We'll have to see. <clears throat> All right. Now here is Hawaii. And Olaf is getting pretty close to Hawaii. We can see Olaf right down here. 120 mile per hour winds. But there's such a strong uh, north, uh, east, you know, an easterly flow that uh, I don't know if Hawaii is going to be uh, in trouble because of that, you know, because of the storm here. Now there is some other... Uh, activity up here. This looks to me like a blast pattern right here. Something is being uh, targeting that. Let's go back to the big map and uh, see what they're doing here. This harp transmitter right here uh, is, is obvious right here, but uh, something else is right here. There is a lot of rain. And it looks like something is targeting this area right here. So we've got a 
blast pattern right along here. And uh, these two uh, moisture fields will probably merge. That's what it looks like. I we'll want to keep an eye on that because all this is going to be heading uh, to the uh, east. All right, so uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Um, let's keep going here. All right, so there's uh, Hawaii and Olaf. Olaf's moving due north, so it'll just pass by the islands. Um, there's the uh, that's the uh, infrared loop. We do see a interesting pattern there. That looks like a blast pattern right along there, and also right here, there is uh, some evidence there of of a blast. High velocity outbound water vapor right right through here and, and right here from heat all right uh okay keep going here this is another shot of olaf moving north okay now here is the 500 millibar chart and we see that trough low pressure right here this is forecast uh, to maybe bring some rain into california in a, in a couple of days so we'll uh, keep an eye on that it's a high pressure here to block all the uh, moisture from this storm and also to uh, ensure that this uh, flow moves out to the uh, northeast from that hurricane patricia all right um, <clears throat> there is the 300 millibar height analysis And we have a high pressure indicated right here. That's what that is. And we have this low indicated. And uh, we do have a area of low pressure right out over here, over the four corner states. All right. So we'll just have to keep an eye on this. Uh, you know, we'll just see what happens. It's, it's uh, hard to hard to say. Uh, but um, we do have a shot of rain from this system. It's just the uh, it all depends on, uh, looks like this high pressure they put in yesterday is, is breaking down and moving to the, uh, to the east. So this is kind of interesting. It, we'll have to wait and see what happens uh, with this moisture field right here. But it is being reported from people who watch these videos that there is chemtrails along the, uh, uh, the, uh, in, in western Los Angeles near the uh, coast. So I have not yet seen... Uh, the trails yet as soon as i get out in my uh, truck i will probably uh, see them all right so we'll go ahead and do an update uh later today on the situation with patricia all right so that's it